something double digit value. <laughs> Hello, it's Mr. Ramirez, and I'm Mr. Brewer, and this is the week at February 12th to the 15th. Hey, Mr. Ramirez, I'm so excited! We don't have school on Friday! Yes, it's going to be so much fun. What are you going to do? Well, I'm probably going to stay home with my wife and daughter and watch Sesame Street. What are you going to do? Well, I don't know about Friday, but I think on Wednesday I'm going to take my wife on a romantic date. Ooh, would you rather take her to the movie theater or a fancy restaurant? Hmm, I don't know. How about we let these kids decide in this edition of This, this or, or that. that? Hi, I'm here with LaMonica. Would you rather get a lot of Valentines from people you don't know very well or get just one from someone who's special to you? Get someone that's special. <laughs> Would you rather get to write the script for the Valentine's episode of your favorite TV show or be in the Valentine's episode of your favorite TV show? Be in the Valentine's TV show. Be in the Valentine's TV show. Would you rather get a Valentine's Day kiss from a big slobbery dog or get a Valentine's Day kiss from a camel? And I have to pick one? <laughs> okay, wait. Can the dog... Ooh, neither. I don't want that on me. But if I had to pick, I guess I'd do the dog, but he not kissing my face. He'd have to kiss my hand. <laughs> Would you rather attend a Valentine's Day party at school or attend one at someone else's house? Someone else's house? Because I don't get to do none at school. Would you rather create handmade Valentines for all your friends or buy them at the store? I'd love to make handmade ones if I had the time. Otherwise, I'd make them at the store. Mr. Brewer, you must have gotten a lot of ideas from that segment. I did, but I still have to think very deeply about some things. Deep thoughts of Mr. Goss! I've always wondered, are math teachers secretly pirates? And they're only using you to find the X where the buried treasure is? Interesting. Oh, sorry, I've been watching way too much of The Office lately. I have paper on the mind. Well, maybe we can watch these students attempt the paper challenge. Oh, yeah. That looks really hard. Yeah. You know what else is hard? Sneaking into the teacher lounge. Ooh. Maybe we can find out what it looks like on this episode of Westland Cribs. Yes. Welcome to the staff lounge. Come on in. Come right in. Take a look around. We got this awesome entertainment center. You can play some video games. I hear Mr. Roberts likes to crush some people. Come in, watch a little office. Play some Xbox, watch TV. We've got microwaves. 
double trash cans for teacher trash only. What else do we need? Vending machines, snacks, soft drinks, whatever you need. They are haunted. Right behind you, we've got a foosball table. Come get a match in with Mr. Rami Noodles. This is the Billy 500. Mr. Pickcock's goal this year is to get to 500 classroom visits. Looks like we gotta keep it up, Mr. Pickcock. Over here we've got a lounge area, some nice soft couches. We've got some cool green chairs. A game of darts if you wanna challenge someone. Soundproofing because the cafeteria is very loud. We can hear it through the wall. Over here you can play a nice game of chess if you have any extra free time. I'm not very good at this game, but I would play with you anytime. Over here, Mr. Brewer created what's called a Raspberry Pi. You can play all kinds of video games. Mario Kart, Sonic the Hedgehog. Right, getting close here. Take a look at all these games you can play. Mr. Brewer put all those video games on this tiny little device. Over here we've got a little kitchen, some coffee for your midday pickup, a sink. We've got different kitchen utensils where we always wash our dishes when we're done. A fridge with our staff champion. You can zoom in right here. Westland Wildcat. That's really what the two W's stand for. And then we've got some more counter space with some ads going on. Right behind you we've got some beautiful long tables where we sit and chat about teaching and life and what we're having for lunch. I think that's it guys. It's probably about time for lunch. You gotta go. Bye. Bye. Wow, that was so cool. I know, I wanna go in the teacher's lounge. Yeah, you know what else is so cool, Mr. Brewer? What? Spirit Week! <gasps> is that next week? Yes, it is! Monday is going to be hat day, so wear your favorite hat. Tuesday's pajama day, so you can wear pajamas that are school appropriate. No spaghetti straps or shorts, and no slippers. Wednesday, which is my favorite day, you get to dress up in all your horrific wildcat gear. Thursday is my personal favorite day because I get to dress up from my from the year I was born, the 80s. <laughs> and Friday, to celebrate Black History Month, is a blackout where you wear all black. Cool. Have a great week, Westlade. See you next week on Last Week at Westlade. This is Miss Cyber coming at you with a new book recommendation for Get Your Read On. This week my book is Solo by Kwame Alexander. You may have heard of him because he wrote the very popular book Crossover. In Solo it's very similar to Crossover because instead of being a normal book, all of the story is written in poetry and lyrics. So don't let the huge page count intimidate you because you can get through it pretty quickly and Alexander once again creatively writes using lyrics because our main character Blade is really into music just like a lot of you I'm sure. So what's Solo about? Blade never asked for a life of the rich and famous. In fact, he'd give anything not to be the son of Rutherford Morrison, a washed up rock star and drug addict with delusions of a comeback or to no longer be part of a family most known for lost potential, failure, and tragedy, including the loss of a mother. The one true light is his girlfriend, Chapel. Her parents have forbidden her from being in a relationship with Blade, assuming that Blade will be just like his father. In reality, the only thing Blade and his father have in common is the music that lives inside of them, and songwriting is all Blade has left after Rutherford, while drunk, crashes his high school graduation speech and effectively rips Chapel away forever. But when a long-held family secret comes to light, the music disappears. 
In its place is a letter, one that could bring Blade the freedom and love he's been searching for, or leave him feeling even more adrift. So what I love about this book is, one, music is just like literature. It speaks to our soul. It's one of those art forms that helps us express ourselves. And it has a lot of great reviews because it is so unique and written just for students your age. Kwame Alexander is a really creative writer, and he uses his talent to tell stories in unique ways. I actually got this book from our Scholastic Book Fair, and I read it all in one day because, one, it was a quick read, and two, I loved the story, and I wanted to share it with you because I think Solo will speak to your heart just like it did mine. And once again, if you would like to read Solo, you can check it out at a bookstore like Barnes & Noble or our library. And if you want it all to yourself, you can enter to win it by submitting a filled out Big Ten card. So we would like to reward our readers with even more wonderful books to read. Thank you for watching and don't forget to get your read on, Westlane. Tools for my raw power move.